my 2013 Kia Soul. Um, I just bought this about uh, seven months ago. And it was about the same time I got the iPhone 5. And I um, really love the center mount for ProClip. Pro ProClip was generous enough to um, send a cradle for the Galaxy S4 for me to review. Um, this is the holder with tilt swivel with cigarette lighter cable, Samsung Galaxy S4. And um, the item number is 512526, just in case you want to order this. The cradle mount that they sent me, you have to already have the center mount like I do for the iPhone 5 um, to be able to attach the cradle onto it. So if you do not have the center uh, mount first, please make sure you order both or you won't be able to put these two things together. Um, the one that I was I received, the 512526 item, um, this one is for no case. Just so you're aware, you um, actually have to slide it in with no case. And I don't typically like to uh, use my phone without any case because accidentally you can drop it or it's knocked out of your hand or you you know I just I like the security of having a case on mine however um, the case I'm currently using which is by casemate is very easily put on and off it's kind of like the OtterBox uh, commuter with the silicone underneath against the phone and the outer shell protecting it um, entirely and I like it because it easily can slip on and off. It's actually easier to slip on and off than the commuter case. Um, so this is great. So I just slip it off and put it down in my little tray down there when I'm not using it and um, slip my phone in. Now the one benefit of this case versus the iPhone 5 is that it actually has these um, guides that you can slide your Galaxy S4 down. It actually guides it down onto the micro USB which is great because you're not going to scratch the bottom of your phone, which I had that issue with the iPhone 5 cradle um, that we had before. So let's get into this and see what we have in the package. All right, guys, um, it actually comes with the directions to easily install it, the actual cradle, and this is the ball joint that it goes on so that it actually can t tilt. Um, it tilts pretty far. It's not a, you know, it doesn't tilt way back, but you wouldn't want that anyway because you wouldn't be able to see it. And then it just gives you the overview. This um, packet is, you know, like the overview of ProClip and, you know, warranty and that kind of stuff. And it came with four screws. Put the um, ball joint into the center mount that we already have installed. So let's go ahead and take off the iPhone 5 cradle and put the Galaxy S4 uh, cradle on and see how this works. Now we are going to remove the iPhone 5 cradle and replace it with the Galaxy S4 cradle. So first you're going to want to remove the lightning cable and then take the center screw out which um, bolts it to the tilt swivel ball behind it. And we're going to replace it with the Galaxy S4 tilt swivel. I actually wanted to show you guys what it looked like to put the iPhone 5 in this holster. So what you do is you put it up into this top part first and then slide it down and see how it can go on the front and, um, sorry I'm a little shaky, go on the front and then can go to the side. There's really no guide to get it down into um, the charging port. So this is a little loose because I'm about ready to take it off, but I just wanted to show you that, um, you know, to get it down into the lightning cable to be able to charge it, um, it, there was really no guide. So you can easily scratch up your iPhone 5. All right, this is what the mount looks like without any um, tilt swivel attachment. So I'm just going to use the same four screws and um, put on the Galaxy S4 uh, ball and Now joint. we're going co to connect this center screw into the center mount tilt swivel ball joint. 
and that's just four simple screws to screw on the ball joint and then one middle screw to screw in the center here so that it will connect and I will show you what it looks like when we're done just a quick tip for this cradle I was actually using the number two Phillips head and it kept sliding around and I didn't want to strip the screw so I switched to the flat head 1 8 and it actually works a lot better so if you're having issues with the center screw not being able to screw it in very easily switch it to a flat head if you've got a small 1 8 I just use this um, universal screwdriver and you can switch out the heads on it and the 1 8 one worked the best Alright guys, now we have the Galaxy S4 cradle on there. It was just the simple um, center screw and again use the flat head to be able to tighten it in um, to your specification. But if you don't have it that tight, it will move around. So just a suggestion, if it does move around too much, just, cent uh, just tighten that center screw a little bit more and it will be nice and tight for you and you can still move it around on the ball joint but it won't slide around as you're driving with the vibration of the road so again this is the cigarette lighter charger and when you have it plugged into the cigarette lighter it lights up blue which is actually pretty nice I like this um, charger it is very sleek and it's got the you know the aluminum or the silver detailing which makes it look very nice. So again, I'm just going to plug that right into my cigarette lighter right here and adjust it so that it looks a little nice and close up my old one which is where I had the iPhone 5 because using the iPhone 5 lightning cable it was really long so I put it on the other side so that it wasn't draping down here where I'm driving but this, because it's coiled, it stays right nice and tight to where it's supposed to be and I'm actually going to try to see if I can wrap this around one time around the back side. Maybe I'll go from left to right and it might keep it even a little bit tighter. Oh, that's, that's actually really good. So I just wrapped that one time around from left to right and it wrapped it around nicely. So let's go ahead and try putting the Galaxy S4 into the mount and see how it works. Alright guys, here's my Galaxy S4. I was actually recording with it earlier and I switched it over to be able to put it into the mount. And this is actually my husband's iPhone 5. He didn't switch over to the Galaxy S4 yet, but I think his next phone will be an Android. So I wanted to show you really quickly. This is my case that I use. It's by Casemate. And um, it easily pops off. All you got to do is just bend back these edges and it comes right out. So you bend back these edges and it just pops right out. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the case down here while I'm driving. So here is my naked Galaxy S4. Oh, it's naked in all its glory. And we're going to put it right here into the mount. And again, this is another pro to the Galaxy S4 cradle. I really like how it has these guiding edges to guide the phone down to the micro USB. So it slides right down perfectly on top of it and just clicks down in. And if you heard that noise, that means my Galaxy S4 is charging. And we're good to go. All right, so we're going to slide it back on one more time. And if you watch, it starts to charge. And um, it's really sturdy. It's not going anywhere. And again, I really like how it slides down on this side to be able to go right onto the micro USB. And as I'm driving, I can actually tilt it to be able to see it a little bit better. Let's go into navigation so that um, we can see how that looks as we're driving. So let's go to Walmart. How do we get to Walmart? Well, everybody should know how to get to Walmart because that's like the number one store that everybody goes to, unless you're a Target fan. Okay, so here is what I would be seeing. 
and I'm actually going to tilt that a little bit down. I'm about 5'8", which is tall for a female, but um, as you're driving, you can definitely see this very easily, and um, it's charging while you're driving, so you're not wasting battery, and it's perfect. I really love the Pro Clip design. Uh, it makes it part of the car, which is great, and it doesn't have any suction cups or I used to have actual, um, you know, the mount that goes in the center and it's far away and then you've got the cord draping over your radio and it just makes it very convenient and easy to install. So this is the Galaxy S4 Cradle and thank you guys for watching. I hope you like my review. I'm actually going to do a couple more reviews on the smart cover for the iPad mini. I'm actually a pretty techie person. I'm a middle school math teacher and I really love technology. As you can see I have the iPhone 5 and now I have the Galaxy S4. I really like to keep up to date with mobile phones and the tablets and I have a MacBook Pro um, that actually the school provides but I really love to use technology in the classroom and outside in my regular day life. So look forward to seeing some more reviews on some other technology devices. And thank you guys again for watching. This is Ashley from ABC Glen 03. I thought I would give you a face to the voice. My name is Ashley and I don't have any makeup on so don't judge. I just actually woke up not too long ago. My birthday was yesterday so I had fun with that. But um, you're probably wondering why I have glasses on, sunglasses. I actually had PRK laser surgery done last week and my eyes are pretty sensitive to the sun and I live in Florida so the sun is even more potent and so that's why I have sunglasses on. Maybe in my future videos I will not have them on hopefully and you'll be able to see my eyes. Um, anyway, I just wanted to give you a face to my Please voice. Please leave any comments down below and also I know I have an issue with saying um. That is something I'm going to be working on. Uh, this is definitely my first time doing YouTube videos and I, you know, I've done them before but not recording myself or tutorials really. So I do say um a lot and I'm going to do some outtakes of um, bloopers where I say um, 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 oh my god, oh my god. So I know I say um a lot so that would be a suggestion to stop. Um, but any other suggestions you have for me to be able to do tutorials in the future, that would be great. I'm open to suggestions. Leave them in the down bar below. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.